The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martín Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or... Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. No, no, your job Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know, it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Hey. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. made it home.
need a drink. <laughs> you damn right, fool. <laughs> what would really turn me on is no, you no, wearing no, clown no, face. I got some knowledge to impart, man. Don't forget that. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15.30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before, something 
I can help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Mike about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Thirteen thirty. We're an hour down, two to go. The one who keeps talking about the schedule last. Come on. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess.
What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time, and the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Inside. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! That's the excavation! I need you to hold the chopper above it while I take a look! I need to be above, shooting down into it! Just hold the chopper here! You can do that, right? A little longer. Looks pretty feasible. No steel supports. Looks good, looks good. Just a minute. All right, I think I've got enough information to work with. ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. 
All right, shit, hit him. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. For you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back. Or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you day. come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sordid, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Uh, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Because I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet! <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael... He changed his name! Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, 
Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can, you're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Yeah, I can't say I was too impressed with Kareem on the Bureau Raid. But he could have a better idea of what we need now, and he's still cheap. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. Hey, I used them at the jewelry store, I used them at the Bureau. I'll use them here. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Okay. We need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go.
that looks better. Hey, Lester. First gauntlet's ready to go. All right, that's good work. No way. Move, in the move, way. let's move. <gasps> Damn. Moron. Ah, shit. The wrong guy. What the fuck out?
like it never happened. The second gauntlet's in the lockup, modified and ready. All right, one less thing to worry about. Hey, roll up!
There, looks like the day you bought it. The third gauntlet's there. It had work done and everything. Okay. Now we just need the stingers and we're set. No way! Give me that thing right now! Guys, what's it called? Meltdown. Anton Bartolaire, yeah. A lot of buzz. They're talking statues. All right, so, I've been getting some police stingers for the big one, Last, I'm guessing you ain't been up to much. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need, and we'll meet at the strip club. Schedule C and SE. It means you're on the IRS radar. I haven't filed since I left grad school. Hey! Shows for paying customers only. Okay, okay, here, get dressed. 
All right. Hurry up. Get changed, all right? This is the biggest day of your sorry little life. Hey, man. So we really doing this shit? Frank, come on. Next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state of the art. Cool. Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. <laughs> All right, people, the trucks are on route. Let's get to the tunnel and wait. This the best you could do? What are you talking about? These fucking guys? They're cool. Look, we pulled that thing with them. It went fine. The Polito score was intense, man. I was on some heavy downers after that. You setting these guys up for a fall? Huh? Is that what this is about? If they're the diversion, maybe it makes sense. This whole treachery thing is new to me. Don't listen to this asshole. It's all good. No one is being set up. I've heard that before. Shut it, Trevor. This is the big one. And fuck me if we don't need any doubts in the back of our heads. All right, the trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. No need to panic. We weren't panicking. Something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me want to panic. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. I see the vans. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. Drop the stinger. Now keep driving. They should go over it. Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle! Let's go! Oh, shit. Move your ass! You do not want to die for this shit! Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Your move, buddy. No, 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 no! Get a fucking move on! Come on, move! Hurry up! Just hold on! Hey! Oh, please, you get these ready! Please. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, we got a one-minute window before the GPS starts reading abnormal. Ooh, then let the slaughter commence! Who no, no, you no. like? This one. No. Oh, shit. Hey, please, whatever you yeah, need. Yeah, no shit. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck. Let's go! Go, go, go! go. Get in! Let's go. Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Move! Your welfare! Quit whimpering. Union Depository, here we come. Shit, 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 shit! Relax, man. I'm the one who should be crapping myself. I'm about to rob the biggest bank on the planet. Fuck! Fuck! Look! Casey! I need you calm. You're no use to me when you're freaking the fuck out. Where you want to be right now is useful. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half minute ago. <laughs> Here you go. Gets me every time. Onion 86 in the building. Eggplant 22 in sight. Stand by. Here. Don't do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization? Good. Good? Good. Access is good. Courtesy, escort is go. 
Take us to it. Follow me. Pick up the pace, will ya? How's things? Uh, good. Yeah, uh, um... Uh, fine. I bet the freeway is an absolute B star star CH today. <laughs> Tell me when it isn't. And you gentlemen have to sit in those trucks, bored out of your minds, staring at more money than you know what to do with. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Collection team is here. Now, that is some kind of door. Hey, so, you know what to do? Uh-huh. Come on. Okay. job to do. Absolutely. Boy, oh boy. Woo! There is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Now you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. <laughs> hey, that's good stuff. Uh, hey, come on, come on, come on. We got a schedule. Get yeah. it. Yeah. These are heavy. A little over two tons of pallet. Yeah? So what's that worth? Gold's trading at uh, around 1,700 to 2,000 an ounce. 35 ounces a kilo, give or take. 1,000 kilos a ton, so that's... Two hundred million dollars or thereabouts. Give me a sec. Yep, that sounds about right. Collection team has the cargo. Got many jobs after this? No, it's the last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, you know your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. This much metal ain't normal, is it? Quite irregular. Order came down this morning, but the computer cleared it. Well, let's hope no one untoward gets word. That's what you and the rest of the security gets paid for, isn't it? Cargo's in the loading bay. Get her on board! All right, come on, let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. Ah, that's it! Let's go! Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe I could on, just, Casey, you know... Hey, come on, Casey, suck it up! You can't handle the hangover, Case. Do not overindulge. That's right. This man right here will teach you a little something about moderation. Cargo is gone. Don't worry, Case. We move this metal at Mission Row, and you're all done. Yeah. Control, we got the metal. What's your situation? Not good, man. Mary with her know we took the UD. They out there looking for you. Fuck. You got a solution for this problem? We got the signal I had. I can use it to keep you away from them clowns. Fuck. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. 
Okay, okay, okay. The link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Man, this shit seem easy enough. Okay, we in. I got you a clean connection. Shouldn't be any lag on switches. Changed. Hey, on the east side, man. Heavies, watch out. We gotta head east at this junction. The light is green. Done. Okay, both of you go left. You're good. Oh shit, more mercs coming from the northwest. Switched. Yeah, go right at this junction. We got a green light. Change is in. There it is. Now, over this junction. Boom. They're waving us through. Now, go right at this turn. Shit, Merriweather on the west of the grid. There you go. Yeah, uh, make a right right there. Hey, Merriweather spotted on the south. This one looks good. Changed. Done. More mercs just showed up at the top of the grid. Green light ahead. All right, now you almost done. This one's clear. Hustle up! You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are. Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the medal. Damn right. All without firing a bullet. Ah, oh, don't forget our case here, uh, huh? To let eight no, no, be please, wasted. No, no, please don't. No, wait. Biggest score of our lives. We ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. T. Well, no, it ain't no, a chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. What? Hey, get up. You tell him something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing was your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I always jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old blasted boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Fucking A! Yeah! Oh, hey, man! Fuck! Work first, bicker later, man, all right? Oh, shit! Merryweather! Mercenary motherfuckers! Right. You, keep low. I bet the homeless is happy we paid him to get out of here! That ain't even fair! Let's get these in the trunk! Keep away from us! And they ain't getting the score! There's more of them! We punch through, we get clear! Come on! Roy did that, man! Assholes! Who else would be fucking this up? We deal with the mercs, we get out! Paycheck's no good when you're dead, you ass! Hey man, these guys are heavy! Fucking weird! Close them down! On the left! Look out! I'ma stay on the front, man, you guys take the flank! Fuck off already! Fucking Merriweather! Die, you pricks! Watch the metal! If you're gonna kill anyone, kill the fat one! No chance for you now! Hold him down! Come on, you assholes! The flank's taken care of. Get in there. I don't feel sorry for you. Up there on the overpass, we got some snipers. Jesus! Just in time for the action to start. Snipers go. If I'd known you'd be this annoying. Go in for the kill. Who else would be fucking this up? God, fuck them already! Oh, 
Stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddlebags a bulging. Huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You wanna try? Be my guest. All right. Lead the way. On me, people. Calling on you. Mary Brothers Guys will take care of the metal. Uh, Lester's meeting us at my place. Hang on, we're we're just leaving the gold. Yepper, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gold. Hey, T, have a little faith. What? <coughs> Faith! In you, buddy? All right, in Lester, in the process. Come on, we've been through it a million times. Any fool can take a score. It's getting away clean that makes the difference between those who walk free and those who do not. <laughs> man, I wouldn't know what to do with that shit. I'm guessing you wouldn't either, man. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I just have some trusting issues right now, Franklin. If we get away with this, if, and it's a 
big if, man, then I could finally really retire. Watch it, Frank. Michael likes to retire with a very interesting exit strategy. Come on, man. I mean, we just took the biggest score in the history of scores. And you bitches just want to moan. My mama never loved me. My friends never loved me. I'm mad because I'm rich. I'm sad because I'm successful. Man, this shit is pathetic, both of you. Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, we did it, assholes. We did it. Gentlemen, uh, Lester, we have just made history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that, uh... It's gonna be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah, now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done? Whatever you say. Right? Well, this is a good time. Let's this fucking fuck, 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 fuck you, you man! Hey, 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 hey! God. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags! What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel! And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots! Hey! Leave Lester alone! Oh! Oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! You all are assholes! Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, I'm sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something.